Hello friends, hope you guys are doing well. Another Autodesk sketchbook illustration. We are going with 2860 into 2080 pixel for the illustration. So I'm um, today I'm going to start with a rough sketch so that uh, we have a clear vision of what we are going in. So let's get straight into it. Step one, we are going with rough sketch using the primary pencil. So I'm just going to give a light outer sketch just to have a clear understanding where I want the cabin and where I want the northern lights. This video is going to be very simple but at the same time it's a little bit time consuming. We are going to add two big elements here. One is the cabin itself, another is the northern light. Of course I'm here trying to make sure that we have curves in the northern light and so but then I realized moving forward that it will be much difficult. Step two, the sky. So of course we are going to use coarse watercolor to paint the sky here, but make sure we are not going to use any other color. So we are going into the teal family and bringing in, taking in the la darkest shade of it. And also you can see I'm adding a little lighter hue compared to the darkest shade. And also I'm going to add the teal color in between those lighter shade because we are going to set the sky. And after that, we are going to add an outer layer to bring the northern light into much broader aspect like a pop-up from the sky so first make sure you prep the sky and followed up will go by adding much in depth to the light so here we are going to use a wash brush usually I use blending but I want to have a little bit of structure in the sky so rather than blending from top to bottom I'm just blending in the direction by lighter to darker shade because I want the sky to just spread out across so the cloud there is no cloud whatsoever in this but i want the sky to spread in such a way that it is pulling it outward rather than just being stopped or settled in itself so moving forward we have a step two that is we are adding the northern lights uh, outline so make sure you practice this start with the prepping of your sky then you add the hint of the light and then blend it again so let's hop on to step number three that is the northern lights to add northern light we are using tattoo inker brush here so that we need the sharp edge as we go in so make sure you follow the step as it is or you want to play around you can add the curves as you go by but here i thought i'll just need the three layer of the northern hints not more than that usually i try to add more color but here i just went ahead with the light teal color because i want it to be more natural and much easier for you all to follow so i'm also going to add a darker shade to the sky so that we have more shadow of the northern light in such scenario and also if you are sparkle on the end it gives a bright picture here so again i'm going to use wash brush because this kind of help in giving the edge what i'm looking in for if you look deeply into the illustration you can see i am blending in in a very light hand i'm using apple first generation pencil if you're using any st stylus make sure you use it with a light hand don't uh, use don't put all the pressure in the stylus but rather just slowly blending in the color in and out in and out in such scenario so first i've blended the lighter color of the northern lights then i'm just going to blend in the darker shade of the shadow so if you see i have used a top layer above uh, the so i have added one more layer above the sky layer so that i don't want to miss anything with sky layer whatsoever so rule number one itself is make sure you are as much as layer as you want because that's the major reason why you won't be able to get the image whatever you're staying in because uh, when I'm illustrating I'm just not doing anything you can see I have added another new layer for the final touch of the northern lights here I'm using again tattoo inker I'm adding the lighter shade as you can see we've set the base one and then we add another layer and now we are the final layer we are using smudge round bristol brush which helps in giving that like just one splash from the color like we are going from top to the bottom just make sure you set the side of the brush according to the pressure of your stylus so here i'm using a slight touch and then i thought maybe i'll just go a little faster so i just increased the size of the brush and then pulled all the lighter pull all the color to the up 
so if you can see the second layer i'm just pulling the shade so whatever the color we add we am just smudging it on the top end so pulling it from top to bottom that's it one wash so now that northern lights is here it uh, it may look incomplete but make sure but just stay trust the process because once we add the stars or the sparkle it kind of bring all the picture together so let's move on to the fourth step so the fourth step we will be following here as adding a grass we are not doing any crazy here i'm just going to use one brush and one blending that's it because we have already done with the northern lights it's a highlight we i'm not even bothered to do anything with the grass so we are just using camo brush to add this layer add a new layer add the greenery shade and also add a layer beneath the greenery shade and add the darker color and as we go by we just need a little darker grass and nothing uh, crazy here or i'm not going to add any type of illustration so far so we are just going to use camo brush fill up the layer and on the top of the toolbar if you go for the fourth one we have to select the desort option where we can adjust the image i want it to be like a hilly image so i'm just adjusting according to my preference you can go as you want if you want to just uh, uh, be the way it is you don't have to worry about it so So let's get ahead. I'm just adding few more depth and then we are using blending brush to bring all this camo into one big image. That's it. So the blending brush here, I'm just trying to drag in the darker shade and the lighter shade. Just give like a grass in the air. So either you can be very crazy and do the exact grass thing. But here I'm just blending the harsh of the camo so that it's look a little bit softer as we go by. So we will be hopping on to step number five, that is we are going to draw a cabin. Cabin is very simple. We're not going to make it much complication. Of course, the only these two are the highlights of the illustration. One is the northern light, one is the cabin. So let's get with the step five. We are going to use fountain pen and I'm going to use the burgundy shade. Uh, if you want a little bit lighter, I suggest you can do with the brown and the dark brown also. I just want a little burgundy Scandinavian theme kind of. So we are going to use the help of draw style to draw the rectangle and also the straight line to help me draw the triangles and the other rest of the image. So just a rectangle and then make sure you add a triangle to the left and pull in a straight line and a oval line for the entire Yes, I brighten up this a bit of the illustration so that it's very visible for you all and it's easy to follow. So we are just going to use the fill bucket option to fill the entire cabin and also I'm trying to add a darker in shade. Then I am using flow airbrush to add the hint of darker shade. As you can see, the video is a little bit brighter so that I want you to follow the So once we add the highlight of the cabin, we are just going to use blending brush to blend along with it. So I have not selected that layer. Yeah, now you can see. So I'm using the blending brush. So make sure you select the size as per your preference. It's nothing. Uh, you have to follow the exact one. So once we are done with this, I'm going to add little more highlight. As you can see, the ha other half should be much darker than the lighter one. Again, we are using font and pen to fill in. Also, I have made this video a little brighter so that you guys can clearly see i can so once i added the square one i added uh, the yellow and a little bit of orangish color and with the help of blending brush i go ahead and give the harsh edge a little softer line so that it looks like a lamp light is coming out of a cabin the same thing we are going to follow with the rest of the two window also so we are going to add a square and fill it up with yellow and add a tint of orange using the flow air brush so finally we are on to step six add sparkle with the help of sparkle brush we just going to dab 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 copy and paste that's it hope you guys enjoy this video make sure to like share and subscribe see you all in the next one till then take care have a great time bye bye